and then you can put it up like this but if you do well there's nobody can really call it or go to do this thing in so I'm not going Unknown transforming robot It's probably shit but if I just better quit it really won't matter <laughs> Good evening ladies and gentlemen Right here, back for another Transformers Transformation Review thingy. That might happen tonight. It has been a while. It has been some three, four, five, six, seven months. Maybe four months. I'm not sure. You know, maybe a hundred days. I like the sound of that. That's kind of sexy. And um, it's good to be back here once again with you in your living room, bedroom, bathroom, toilet, wherever you like to enjoy YouTube. I won't. Uh, I won't judge you. That's fine by me. Just um, make sure you're safe. Uh, what was I talking about? You know, ladies and gentlemen, I find with YouTube as with life. A little antipathy and saving your blog there. Um, you know, you come in. I come in and out of YouTube anyway, so I have uh, my history, chronology of my YouTube is uh, peppered with little hiatus, hiatus, of me coming in and out and uh, being able to give a certain amount of time to YouTube or not. When I first came onto YouTube about eight years ago, I think it was about eight years ago, um, I was really, uh, I was quite an apologist and evangelist for YouTube at that stage because that's when it worked, Google, when it worked. And um, I was really grateful, profoundly grateful, still am, genuinely am, for all the connections that it has made. And for three years, everything was YouTube. And then, I mellowed out and I caught myself on, you know, and that's the way it is. And so I come in and out of YouTube as I do with many other things. And if I can explain my hate, it's because I feel like I have to explain myself. I don't need to, but that's how much I respect you. This machine, this computer, yes, I knew there was an English word for it, uh, was required when I had my last hiatus that I have just come out of. Um, because my better half needed to finish a dissertation and if any of you have ever done a dissertation you know how much work is involved i could have used my old laptop but you wouldn't have seen me you would have just seen this dark grainy sandy face and it would have been horrendous so there was that but then i need creative energy in order to be with youtube i'm sure a lot of you would agree with me would feel similarly it sounds wanky enough and pretentious but i do genuinely mean it and my creative energy is very, very focused on many other things at the minute. For example, ladies and gentlemen, if I tell you that I'm now the musical director and conductor for a male voice choir here in the West Midlands, Cosley Male Voice Choir, um, then you might go some way to understanding. And I'm also musical director for a production of Romeo and Juliet at a local theatre. You see how they can just suck creative energy out of you. You can imagine, yeah. And George has had a similar thing. George exaggerated elegy. He hasn't been on this medium for about the same length of time, probably a little, actually a lot longer, because creatively he's been steered elsewhere as well. And this is where he was steered to. Uh, Strange Playgrounds by George Daniel Lee. And I absolutely wholeheartedly recommend this, not in some grotesque, sycophantic way, but because it's genuinely beautifully written. It's full of uh, supremely dark, horrific prose, and it's I find it a genuine inspiration. And um, I was uh, lucky enough to be able to read a couple of stories for the audio version of it. It's, it's genuinely a beautiful thing, and I'm looking forward to it getting proper recognition. These days, ladies and gentlemen, pop culture, because I used to be in the pop music business. Do you remember the Maximals? Um, remember the Alamo? Uh, it's... <sighs> You know, what they say is a 90% perspiration or something like that. And the the popular media and certainly in pop music, you can you can you can get away with producing anything as long as it's well plugged. You know what I mean? Oh god, I'm so jaded. Speaking of which, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, your boy at the end of the month is turning 40. I'm having a big birthday at the end of the month. I'm going to be 40. Oh my God, when I was young, when I was young, that must mean I'm no longer young. Yes, I'm pretty sure. 
when I was young, I used to think 40 was really old. And then you get to 40 and you go, oh, that's not really old at all, is it? So keep telling myself, I keep telling myself. Okay. 60 is the new 40, so I'll be able to say I'm old when I'm 60. So I'm going to be 40. So it's a big birthday, you see. And just like Christmas, just like Christmas, all I want is plastic. Let no bastard get me socks or knickers. Because I will... Just not going to happen. They, they know by now, ladies and gentlemen, not to do it. So Santa said to me, what do you want for Christmas? And I said, Transformers. And just Transformers. Anything else? No. <laughs> no just Transformers and that's what I got for Christmas it was great I made a very special list on my wish list my wish list and I allowed my people access to my wish list and I got stuff from my wish list wonderful wonderful things and the same is going to be at the end of this month ladies and gentlemen when I turn 40 I can hardly believe I'm saying it I'm going to be 40 so I'm having a little soiree here in uh, my little flat in the bot room and elsewhere having some buddies from the tube and auto assembly around the tube not london underground but youtube so some transformer buddies from youtube and auto assembly are coming around you'll know who they are and i'm sure there will be a video made that night it should be lots of fun and it's going to be what is it i say a booze bots and bros booze bots and bros yes in that order in that order no bros bots and booze in that order that's the way you know it's all going to be kind of nerdy geek outs and all the rest of it i've invented some transformer themed party games can anybody think of any more hmm and isn't it terrible what they've done to youtube google have had some real major hissy fit and it's just broken in order to send someone a message now you need a degree in fucking particle physics it's utterly ridiculous oh god i have real irish hair at the minute don't i yeah i've haven't come But what nice plastic we've had. Really nice plastic. Mostly nice plastic. Yes, pretty good plastic. And, you know, I buy a lot of plastic. All I spend my money on is bots and hookers. So it's been mostly bots recently because the hookers are so skanky these days. And you see, I have a thing for Beast Wars. I have a thing for the Beast era. Anything that turns into a beast just makes me go beast. Who's this? Who's this? <laughs> so with that in mind I'm going to show you some plastic uh, when I first it was Ed Bumblejump you know the Welsh guy with the uh, um, uh, when I first seen this bot I've got two versions of this mould now there are three I think there are three I still need the third one uh, when I first seen this bot it uh, blew me away now <clears throat> picture it Sicily, 1984. Now, I came into Beast Wars kind of late. Now, I remember Beast Wars when they appeared on the shelves. And um, I wasn't collecting Transformers at that stage. But now and again, I would go to Woolies. Oh, Woolies. Woolies. The only place, the only place in the world where you could buy a cup, tea bags and milk all at the same time. Brilliant. And um, where was I? And I seen Beast Wars appearing on the shelves there, and I thought, <laughs> what? You can't have Transformers to turn into fucking ants? Are you serious? But I was so wrong. I thought the same about Animated. When I first seen the uh, screenshots and the promotional art for Animated, I thought, no, they've got Transformers completely wrong. But Animated and Beast Wars are up there in my top five of... Um, Continuities ever with a without question without question. I'm kind of hoping I am similarly disproven uh, By my slight dubiousness against the next line because as much as I like the prime line and beast hunters and I did it was mostly wonderful and occasionally shocking um, The next line is going to be aimed at younger kids again as animated probably was but they definitely got it right Rescue bots, which I've no interest in, interest in, is aimed at kind of three, four, five, and the next series of Transformers is going to be aimed at six and seven. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Anyway, when I came back to Transformers at the age of thirty, that's when I came back to Transformers. Um, it took me a while to get back to Beast Wars because 
Cybertron had just come out, Galaxy Force, and I was collecting G1 and Galaxy Force at that time. And there's all my G1 stuff over there. And uh, so I had real, real, really motivated for G1, still am. Got most of it, still a few things that I need. Autobot Headmasters, anybody? I don't have one fucking Autobot Headmaster. Um, so eventually when I came round to Beast Wars, I loved it. It took me a while, but I loved it. And then even later it was Beast Wars 2 and Beast Wars Neo. And they have some wonderful, wonderful things. And one of the wonderful things there is Big Convoy, the big mammoth. Where is he? He's up there. Let me see if I can show you. There he is. Up there. Yeah, that's it. And um, there's a black version. Black Big Convoy, which I don't have. He's expensive. I do have the Nemesis Prime version, who's lovely. Lovely. Love that bot. I used to think it was difficult to transform, but he's not. And then, was it the start of last year, or middle of last year, when I seen that um, we were getting an Ultra Mammoth, it just, all my boxes were ticked. Because I like a Prime. I'm fine with a Prime. I'm fine with a Prime. But I'd rather have a Magnus. Always rather have a Magnus. I just prefer the color. I'm looking that way because I keep most of my Magni. Magni, yeah, why not? Over there. Um, I'll give you a tour sometime. And um, I just love the blue and white and the occasional flashes of red and what have you. Just much prefer that. And the silver, yeah, I'd like that. I like that. And I think I prefer the character a little bit more. I tend to dis I I tend to shy away from any character that's really in the four. Um, or is is like the archetypal good guy, especially Prime because he's just. I th I find him quite one dimensional. I can't relate to him at all. I can't. Oh dear, I wonder what Freud would say about that. But Ultra Magnus, yes, love the Ultra Magnus. And uh, when I seen this guy, he just all oh, boxes were ticked, tick 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 tick. Beast former, slightly obscure beast former, and bigger because I do like a, I like big bots, and I cannot lie, I like big bots, and he's a Magnus. He used to be called apparently he used to he used to be called Ultra Magnus, but he changed his name. I'm thinking of changing my name to Tyrannosaurus Rex. That might happen. Uh, I love this, absolutely love this guy. He's a big woolly mammoth, notorious shell former, but wonderful. I'll transform him. What's this? So here he is. This is the wonderfully and profoundly sexy Ultra Mammoth. This, for my mind, is one of the most important molds in the Beast era. Uh, there's nothing wrong with the original at all. I just find that the Woolly Mammoth is just a little bit too naturalistic and doesn't really let you know what's going on beneath. It doesn't belie the fact that there's a prime going on beneath. Whereas this, the Ultra Mammoth version does, and the Nemesis Prime version does because this is this guy's all black silver and red throughout and this guy's all blue silver white and red throughout both very 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 sexy so he's stick he's sitting on a very very important shelf over there along with uh, buck on sandstorm buck on double punch the wonderful shocker act gifted gifted to me by george and the supremely beautiful and profoundly expensive antagony also gifted to me by George. Wow. Since I've seen you last, there hasn't been much that I've disliked. I've liked pretty much everything. I'm really, <clears throat> I'm really jazzed by the way that uh, the current generation's line is harking back to Beast Wars and G1, but also word on the ground, word on the ground, word on the street, I think that's what I mean, is that the new Transformers line, the one that's gonna be aimed to six and seven year olds, it's gonna be G1 centric. That's what I understand. I may have got that wrong, but there's a lot more G1 and Beast Wars references because we've got a Rhinox. He looks fantastic. We're not going to get him in the UK. Distribution in the UK is shock, and I haven't found, I've never seen a Shockwave, uh, Beast Hunter Shockwave for sale in the UK. I don't have one because of that. I just haven't got round to getting one. There's no Beast Hunter Shockwave. Seems we've got Wave 1, 2, and 4. I don't know. I never find a Wave 3. Rhinox looks great. Rat Trap, uh, two Waspinators. One's a deluxe and one's going. One is the little. Um, he is the target master for that little star scream. We got the wonderful Metroplex. Metroplex, a big impressive bot. He needs painted. 
ladies and gentlemen of the jury, that bot needs painted. It's going to take you two hours to put the stickers on, but it took me about nine hours altogether to paint that fucker. You really got to go to town on him because he's missing an awful lot of paint. He looks a lot better now because he's got paint on him. Um, so Transformers are looking really good. There's one thing I really wanted to happen this year. We got that wonderful um, triple changing trio of Springer, Sandstorm and Blitzwing. And their Blitzwing, Blitzwing rather, is being re-released and remolded as Double Dater. And that's fine. I like the idea of that. But to me, he's a much more obvious overlord. I really wanted another overlord. We're due another overlord. We need an overlord. Something affordable and compact. Something that doesn't have 99 pieces and you can lose every every bloody one of them. So it is a looks to be a very, very good year for Transformers. I'm looking forward to the rest of the year because there's lots of things that uh, I've still yet to get. Lots of masterpieces, lots of these generation figures. Whatever the new line is going to be, you have no interest in rescue bots at all. Um, so everything looks pretty good. So, ladies and gentlemen, um, it's good to be back. Uh, I've really enjoyed doing this. Um, it has been a long time coming, but now that I'm finished, now rather now that my creative energies have been steered in the way that I've wanted them to be steered, I can devote a little more time to YouTube. So it's going to be once, twice a week. Hopefully, from now on, until my next hiatus, it's always going to happen. But that's just the way. It's just the way of the world. Uh, expect from me a 40th birthday haul, which is going to be hopefully at the start of February. Hopefully, I'm going to have lots of wonderful goodies to report. Um, I know that YouTube is horribly broken by Google, and um, it's not really what it once was. But we have to kind of contend. We have to contend with that until they decide to fix it if they ever decide to fix it until then i'm going to keep posting as much as i can commenting as much as i can and i'll be able to do that again now that i have a bit more free time and hopefully i haven't lost any subscribers and hopefully you'll feel free to comment once again now that i'm back after my hiatus so ladies and gentlemen this is ray once again seeing you all very soon but for now Signing out. Now that's what 